Good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us for this unique groundbreaking ceremony. Unprecedented times like now call for new and creative ways of doing things. We're sorry that you cannot be physically here for this ceremony, but I think that you'll enjoy the video that we have today. I'm pleased to share with you an exciting announcement. Together with the Tupelo Redevelopment Authority, the City of Tupelo is proud to partner with the Thrash Group, LLC, a hotel development group based in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. We will have a new boutique hotel in downtown Tupelo. The Thrash Group is a national boutique hotel developer with current projects in Austin, Texas, Golden, Colorado, Lexington, Kentucky, and Raleigh, North Carolina. The Thrash Group has chosen Tupelo as its next destination for its unique hotel concept. We're grateful to the Thrash Group for sharing in our vision of how to expand and offer new amenities and services in downtown Tupelo. The Fair Park District has certainly come a long way in recent years with the development of the Fair Park Tower behind us and many other great new developments. For many years, this type of hotel has been requested by our existing businesses that want to provide a unique hotel experience for their customers and clients. I know our community and our many visitors to the city of Tupelo will see that this hotel complements what we have going on here in the city of Tupelo as well. We are thrilled the Thrash Group has chosen Tupelo for its next boutique hotel destination. I'm joined here by the Tupelo City Council and I want to thank them for their continued support for this great project which will pay dividends for the city of Tupelo for decades to come. I'd like to call on the Thrash Group's founding partner and managing director Ike, Th Ike Thrash to say a few remarks about this exciting project. Ike, on behalf of the city of Tupelo and the city council, thank you for choosing to invest in our community and for the trust that you've put in us to ensure that your new hotel is a wonderful success. Uh, we're the Thrashes from the Thrash Group in Hattiesburg. I'd like to thank uh, Mayor Shelton and the City Council. Um, we've got a lot of people to thank to, um, for bringing us here where we can do a, finally do a project in our home state. Um, and it, we've obviously had a lot of help here. I'll let Walker fill everybody in on uh, the history of the project and what the project's going to be. Thanks, Dad. Uh, Look, first, I think after our initial meeting with the CDF, obviously the the next conversations were how do we concept a project that will work as a catalytic project for Main Street in downtown. Um, we came up with a lot of great names for a hotel, but we kept calling it internally, obviously, the Tupelo Hotel, and eventually started doing some research and realized that the uh, CDF was actually formed in 1948 in Hotel Tupelo in the Blue Room. So we thought there's nothing more apropos for this project. We might as well stick with Hotel Tupelo. Uh, and it had already resonated with the group anyway. So as we've worked through it, uh, this has become the better part of a $16 million project. It's an 80 room boutique hotel. There's, there's two suites that face Main Street that we're pretty excited about. Um, there's meeting space and our hope is that we can be a home for multiple different meetings in the region, uh, that this would be a place for people to come and experience Main Street and, and the walkable parts of the city. Um, we have adequate meeting space, like I've said, and then we're, we're looking at potentially a partnership with local restaurateur for the restaurant to kind of add that elevated experience for guests and for also you know this hotel always you talk about the guests coming from out of town but the hotel is meant to also be a place for people to gather that live in Tupelo uh, and our hope would be at some point we hit that 
perfect intersection between a place for people to come visit, but also a place for people to connect that live here. We worked with Sarah Newton on the architecture. It was very appropriate because her entire background has really been important historic projects in, in the state of Mississippi. So she was uh, open arms to jump into this project. Um, Ellen Tishner has done the interior design, has worked on interior design all over the world. So it's been interesting to see this kind of blossom into a uh, this quaint boutique product in Mississippi. And we couldn't be any more thrilled to do a, uh, a product like this in a city that's that's blossoming like Tupelo has in the last 10 years, this Main Street area in our home state. So we're extremely excited. I'll pass it to Joe to uh, thank some of the groups that are involved. Thank you, Walker. Um, we'd also like to thank, uh, you heard us mention the CDF several times. They've been great to work with. We They were the first group we ever met here and we sort of hit it off right out of the gate. Um, the CDF has been wonderful. The TRA and Reed Hillen, uh, thank you so much for all your help. Um, I'd like to thank Bank Plus, which is actually right behind us, that is making the loan on this on this project. And lastly, our partner in the deal, Atticus. Uh, so we just want to say thank you to everybody. Thank you for making this a reality. I'd also like to thank Mayor Shelton, City Council, uh, for partnering with Tupelo Redevelopment Agency and CDF for assisting in bringing all of these players to the table for this exciting Hotel Tupelo project. Thanks to the city leadership, engagement in our downtown activities for over 15 years, we've experienced $130 million in development here in the Fair Park District alone. TRA has been working for the past five years or more on a boutique hotel project and we're confident that we found a great partner in the Thrash Group for this development. We believe that this hotel becomes a linchpin, an incubator if you would, to a magnet to downtown Fair Park development for Tupelo. It will influence more development for years to come. In an effort to provide adequate parking, TRA and the city will be moving in to working on and developing a, an additional parking lot area behind the mugshots area, as well as on-site parking with the hotel itself. Uh, there's already additional commercial development and projects coming online because of the fact that we have a downtown hotel coming our way. I want to thank again the mayor, the city council, CDF for investing in the Tupelo vision and TRA's projects uh, for continued downtown development. We appreciate those partnerships, we appreciate those relationships, and we look forward to Hotel Tupelo on this site, Christmas 2021.